Hello Pisces, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. First of all, I'd like to start off with my new display made by one of my viewers, Bobby Oliver, married to my good friend Brenda. So I just love the wood, I love the shine on the wood, it's just beautiful. So I'm still trying to figure out the lighting, so um, work with me, have patience while I figure out the lighting. So I'm going to do one side you, one side your partner, Pisces. If you don't have a partner, just apply one side to a co-worker, friend, sibling, something of that sort. Or both sides to you if you want. So we're going to start off with the Earth um, Wisdom deck. And I shuffle all my cards, as I said, before I turn the camera on. So the first one for you, Pisces, is Awareness 13. Number, that would add up to a 4. So when I was shuffling the cards, I did have a lot of emotions, like a lot of you may be feeling really sad. I did feel that, so just know, um, after I just pulled this card that I'm getting ready to read about, kind of could explain why some of you are feeling sad. If you're getting ready to transform and up-level, you're going to feel really sad right before you do that. So Mugwort age Dreamer can develop and integrates and controls psychic abilities. Moonstone enhances extraordinary awareness. There are whole worlds that are unseen by ordinary awareness. You have the capacity for extraordinary awareness. Work on developing your psychic skills and play, pay close attention to your dreams. Things are not always as they seem and you will need all your senses, physical and metaphysical, in order to move forward. So, the full moon, we had, we're had we having two full moons this month. And I feel like awareness to me means that you're aligning more with your soul's purpose. And you're up-leveling your awareness where you're going to become more aware of the frequency and the different levels between here and like the 3D and the 5D, they say. So, I feel like a lot of you are leveling up and becoming aware of that. That's beautiful. So the next one is Divine Connection. Wow, this is really, really good. So Divine Connection is, again, aligning with your chakras. This is the all the chakras being aligned. This is transformation in here. This is uh, the water lily, which is also the lotus flower. And the lotus flower is white, purity, aligning with your soul. So a lot of you Pisces are aligning with your soul. Um, I also see... My friend um, pointed out the transformation hieroglyphics in the background, so I don't know if three means something to you. If there's been three attempts at something, I see the um, Boralis Northern Lights up here, as well as the green in the water. And water has to do with emotions. So you are a water baby, Pisces. Um, awareness and divine connection. Are you seeing what I'm trying to tell you? A lot of you, where this connects with, you're raising your vibration level with the universe. And a lot, this is why the earth is changing and the things are the way they are. We're more indoors lately for the fa past few months. A lot of people are aligning more with their life purpose and their, their self. <laughs> oh my gosh, Pisces. So this is healing grief, and this would be 10 if you add the numbers. But the thing I says, oh my gosh, for is I see amethyst in her wand here, and it's almost glowing. I also see the snow. The snow to me is purity, and that white flower is purity. So I feel like something within you and your spirit is being transformed so pure. We have the growth and balance in here. Yes, growth and balance, we have transformation in there and transformation in there. And this is like a lot of dark communication, um, could be a lot of praying, a lot of communication to yourself, to high, your higher self. But the snow represents purity. This, some say it's an owl, to me it looks like an eagle, the way the beak is. And it has a tiara on there. So I feel like somebody from, this is the divine guiding you. So, there's something that hurt your heart, Pisces, that made you really, really sad. That shifted you. It had to happen, destiny, to shift your vibration to a higher level. I know that sounds really harsh. The way the universe gets us to 
be aware of things. I wish we didn't have to learn at such a harsh level, but we do. We just are, a lot of people are not aware and they don't even notice things like that. So that is really powerful. All right, so now I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck. And that was the Earth Wisdom deck. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. You're aligning more. You're raising your vibration, and good things will come after that. So you might be feeling like a lot of lower energies are just moving away out of your life. So be aware of that. And just people who aggravate you or trigger you, stuff like that. So the first one we have for you is Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is somebody wanting to communicate. Somebody wants to come in, they're very emotional and they want to talk. So Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is somebody who's very stable in their security, very stable. They're, they're getting ready to make a decision. Usually when we're in the nines, we're getting ready to uh, move more into something or move away from something because tens are usually a decision to, to keep going or end something. So six of coins is the universe feeling this person deserves good things coming to them. So this is good karma coming to you. People giving you things because the universe feels you deserve it and the people probably here on earth. <laughs> so then ten of wands. So wow you have nine of cups and then ten of wands. So Ten of Wands would be somebody getting ready to make a decision again, kind of with the Nine of Cups, but this is more action. That's more thinking about it through the heart chakra, your sacral chakra. This is more your solar plexus. So this is getting ready to move vibrations and make a decision. So Eight of Swords is somebody self-sabotaging, somebody in denial over here. This is not good. So I don't know if you're not, somebody's not accepting the communication. They're not feeling they're worthy of the good karma coming to them. Something like that. So the star. So the star to me is a lifetime of love. This person over here feels like they have a lifetime of love for this person over here. They would never run out of love for this person and they would be happy if they ended up with that person. So strength. This could be Leo. Leo placement to whoever this is over here. So three of coins means co-worker over here is what I'm seeing. This could be a co-worker. So three of cups is happiness between um, people. Everybody's happy right now. And ace of swords. Ace of Swords is somebody communicating anger. So temperance. Temperance is things happening for a reason. Everything has its reason, its time, and its place. And it's through the divine is how everything plays out. So there's a connection, a water connection to you and somebody else with the angel wings. I feel like the divine is involved. That could mean a number of things to me. could mean a past life connection. It could mean a twin flame. It could mean a lot of things. So the moon. The moon is your card, Pisces. This is you. So this talks about yin and yang balance. And it could mean that something is going to be known in the moon. So we have the moon here. We have the moon here. Something could be coming known at the moon. Clarity. So judgment. So we have temperance and judgment here. So I feel like somebody, people interfered with this person over here. They got involved in this person's business and the universe saw it. And they don't like that. And they did it for their own selfish needs. There was no, no reason they should have involved themselves in this other person's situation. It's just like, how do I explain it, the mob mentality. One person was talking about it, and two people jumped on board, and they, they participated. So, Eight of Wands is somebody walking away from something before it's done. They're not waiting for it to get to a ten. They've decided that it's fine to go on now, from whatever they're deciding. So, Princess of Coins. This is somebody who's stable and practical with their coins. 
So I don't know if somebody tried to cause problems with somebody's coins is almost what I'm seeing that these people did. Pisces, wow. I am. I'm feeling like these three people tried to cause problems with your coins, Pisces. And the universe saw it. It's crazy. And look at how these other two people are looking at that one person. Like somebody started it and then the followers just gathered. So Queen of Coins is somebody who is has intuition and is stable. This person listens to their intuition. This person is very secure in listening to their intuition. They will make a decision based on intuition and not have a problem with it. Other people might, but that person won't. They'll say, how can you make a decision on that? It doesn't matter. So now I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati by Eric Dunn, which he says in no way represents the Illuminati organization. He has it meaning the um, Latin meaning enlightened for his Illuminati deck. So let's see if we have any double cards in here. I shuffle these cards a long time before I turn the camera on. I am a shuffleholic. So the first one we have is moon. Look at this Pisces. So the moon came out on both sides. So this tells me that you both have Pisces in your chart. That's what I'm saying. Somebody um, has it as their sun, I feel, and somebody has it as their moon, possibly, is what I'm picking up. Big timer, you both have it as your moon, maybe, because you both got the Pisces moon on each side. So then you have Three of Cups. So Three of Cups is over here, and it's coming out over here, too. So this is happiness, um, people, friends, family, just being happy. So four of swords. This is somebody taking a step back thinking because they feel like things aren't going the way they want them to and they feel like this person could be praying. They want things to go differently. So six of swords. I think you had six of swords twice. I'm sorry to make a mess. Uh, maybe it wasn't you guys. I do sometimes get them confused. I thought you had six swords. Wow. Maybe it was over here. Sorry. Huh. Wow, okay. Yep, I might have got you mixed up with the reading before. Alright, so six of swords is when you move away from something um, because you just get that funny feeling like, okay, it's time. It's time to move away. This isn't going the way I want it to. And we have that kind of twice. The Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords is moving away from something that isn't working. So the Queen of Swords is, I feel, somebody who is very communicative, very loving, nurturing. She has many new beginnings. I feel like... Um, you're going to be traveling, Pisces. Somebody's going to ask you to go on a trip somewhere warm, is what I feel, Pisces. Good for you. And they see a lot of new beginnings. They do. I see they have um, ulterior motives, which are to make you fall in love with them. I see the eight in here, too. I see the moon. So, Pisces... It, Oh my gosh, I see the roses in there. Yeah, I'm looking this a little different. So Pisces, somebody's going to ask you to go on a trip. And whoever this is, they totally love you. Totally love you. They're hoping this trip like makes you bond with them. So what side was this on? I think it was over there. I hope so. So Six of Pentacles. So this is somebody wanting to do everything right. Somebody wanting to do a relationship like status quo. Ace of Wands, this is attraction. Physical attraction, desire, yes, new beginnings. Justice, this could be Libra. This is balance. So to me, the moon is balance and justice, the Libra sign, is like balance in a judicial way, balance in a more traditional. So balance is more, for the moon, it's more of your heart and your spiritual line. This is more earth, human balance to me, if that makes sense. So the Wario is something changing, Pisces. Look at this. You have attraction. Somebody's taking you on a trip, I feel. 
they have a lot of attraction for you and it's going to change you. They're trying really hard to make you attracted to them. So either or, I feel like for some of you, there could be a lot of attraction here. And for some of you, you're like, oh, no, I'm not interested. But for others of you, you're very interested. And I see a purity here. Um, to where somebody just wants to open new doors with you, new realms, um, new realms intimately is what I'm seeing, that somebody wants to open with you. Wow, I do. Somebody just wants to hold you at the high standard that they think you are. Wow, that is beautiful. So I think, where'd this go? Over here, because you had justice. So the wheel, the Queen of Swords, there is just a lot there. Pisces, this is beautiful. So now I'm going to pull past, present, future cards out of the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. So the past is, oh, I hope this doesn't die. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So there was something in the past in this relationship that you just learned to accept. You healed from it, and you're like in the lotus flower. See the lotus flower? Next one is health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Lotus flower again in the center. Do you see it? This is the per current situation where you're making yourself physically and emotionally strong to advance towards what you want. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So right now you're thinking creativity is going to move you forward to keep this going and a spiritual, loving, moving forward, high vibration relationship. <laughs> Did you get all that? Because that's what I got. So for the, I'm trying to hurry because I think the camera's done. S needs a battery. So the whispers of the ocean is push to surface. So this is pushing to surface. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. Beautiful. And then the next one is persistent drive. Double number. See what you desire and move towards that goal. There's a lot of uh, desire in this reading. I don't know if you're coming more aware of your desires, what it almost seems like. So let me hurry. Oh my gosh. So the next one, Father Sky, trust in the unknown. The universe is guiding you. I can't stay stress out enough. You're where you're supposed to be. Fire Guardian, ignite your passion. This is intimacy. This is desire. This is a lot of connecting with somebody on the spiritual realm, or not the spiritual realm, the, the 5D vibration when you're intimate with somebody, how you raise your level because you make yourself closer to the spiritual realm when you're in that intimate um, vibration. It's all a vibration and people don't understand. When you're in that vibration, you're so close to this to heaven, it's it's just unreal. So I feel like somebody is aligning. You see the wings here. You see the wings here. A lot of the divine guiding you. The upright masculine energy right here. He has his hands open. He's ready to accept the love. Um, he's open to it. I mean, look at the two faces. He's ready. The lightning, the wings, the talons, the open beak. Trust in the unknown. Persistent drive. Push to surface. You're aligning your vibration is what I see. This is beautiful, Pisces. Really good reading. I'm glad my camera held out. Um, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. And bless you, Pisces.